Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to do cell referencing on log a cell effectively. Let's say I want to know the total cost where the total cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Okay, assume that the variable cost is equal to the variable value times the rate. Okay, for this level of value, the total cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable times the rate okay so this one will be the value if let's say i want to find or i want to know the total cost for this level of value okay if let's say i copy and paste here you will realize that this is actually not the value that we want okay we have to bear in mind that when we copy and paste over here we move down one row okay so means that the excel will automatically move down one row for us Okay, so this is actually not what we want. To overcome this problem, we can actually lock the cell or use cell referencing. Okay, we do one more time. Okay, equal to fixed cost. Okay, fixed cost is fixed for all levels of variable and all levels of rates. Okay, to fix the cell, we can press the function button F4. Okay, F4. Okay, then we press F4. Then you will see a dollar sign in front of T and a dollar sign in front of A. So it means that Excel will help us to fix B1. Means that fix this cell. Okay, then we plus the variable. Okay, for this variable, okay, we have different variable values here. Okay. We have A4, A5, A6, A7, and A8. Okay, as you can hear, okay, we have A, 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 A. So it means that actually what we want is actually fixed A. Okay, we press F4. Okay, so in front of A and 4, we don't want to fix 4. Okay, then press another time. In front of 4, no. Press another time. In front of A only, yes. So this is what we want. Okay, times, okay, the rate. Okay, we have P3, C3, and C3. Okay, what we can hear is 3, 3, 3, 3. So what we want is actually fix 3. Okay, then we press F4. Okay, fix P and 3, no. Fix 3 only, yes. Okay, so enter. Okay, then if let's say I want to copy this style for the entire columns here, Okay, I can select then move my cursor to the down right of the cell. After I see, I, I see a plus sign, then I drag. Okay, then drag again. Okay, so this is all the values that we want. If let's say you don't want to drag, okay, we can first select all the columns that we want. After that, we press Ctrl R. Ctrl R means that follow the right mode cell okay right most okay so it means that this one we will follow this one this one will follow this one okay control r okay after that we press control d follow the top most so it means that every down everything down here will follow the top most cell okay so this is all the values that we want okay to check whether we done it correctly or not we can actually pick some columns then we check okay for this column is equal to this one plus this one time this one then we compare yes we are right and for this one is fixed plus variable times rate okay then we compare yes we are right then for this one is equal to fixed plus variable times rate okay then we compare yes we are right so it means that everything here are uh, everything here is correct okay that's that's all for today thanks for watching see you